hello students today we are going to understand the concept of channel length modulation in mosfet i have drawn vi characteristic of n channel enhancement mosfet and its working diagram of n mos we know the ideal vi characteristic of n mos has zero slope but in this characteristic i have shown some positive slope to this characteristic so if you take this two points you will get some positive slope here the line is somewhat rising and it shows that dependence of drain current on vds so that is the point of discussion as we know we have a drain current in saturation see drain current when transistor is in saturation already we have discussed this equation id is it is kn vgs minus vtn over dry voltage square this equation tells us that the drain current depends upon only vgs because of this vtn is constant it is the threshold voltage for n mos transistor and according to this equation we have a zero slope for vi characteristic that is the ideal vi characteristic but in this characteristic we have positive slope why it shows the dependence of drain current on vds okay now see what happens here vgs is greater than vtn source is grounded and vds drain source voltage is not equal but it is greater than vd saturation voltage what is the vd saturation voltage so we have vds saturation voltage it is equal to vgs minus vtn over dry voltage and when voltage on drain reaches greater than this value what happens before this condition when vds is equal to vgs minus vt this channel is touching drain we have complete channel from source to drain this area okay and length of that channel is lm so this is the length of the channel when vds is equal to vgs minus vtn we have constant drain current but after this condition what happens the channel at the drain end below oxide layer is pinched off okay means length of the channel is reduced say it is l it is the length of the channel what is the change in the length it is delta l and this affects the drain current now we can write this drain current equation for this condition which will which will show the dependence of id on vds we'll make it separate here so it is channel length modulation conditions of mosfet in short i have written clm channel length modulation so id in case of channel length modulation id is equal to so i am expanding kn i am writing half kn dash w divided by l it is vgs minus vtn whole square into it is additional factor here 1 plus lambda vds so here this lambda is called as channel length modulation so lambda is channel length modulation parameter okay channel length modulation parameter see and 
lambda is equal to approximately equal to 0.01 per volt or we can write this as 0.01 per volt if you change lambda then drain current will change okay and this vds the effect of vds is on id now see in this equation what is the lm what is l effective length of the channel effective length of the channel l is equal to lm minus it is delta l so change in length and it is the actual length of the channel so l is the actual length here and here lm is length to be expected but it doesn't happen and it it modifies channel length modifies and what is the modified length l l is the modified length of the channel now if you see this equation in this equation we have see we have l at the denominator here and id now see vds is here at the numerator vds if you increase vds what happens the length of the channel decreases and it is inversely proportional to the drain current if length decreases and id increases so it is obviously it is due to the penetration okay the rate of penetration of electrons through this region okay so there is a electric field due to the vds in the channel and here the penetration takes place in this region and somewhat id becomes dependent on vds fine so we are going to solve examples on channel length modulation in this example we have to find drain current calculate drain current for n mos n channel enhancement mosfet transistor operating with vgs is given 4 volt vtn 1 volt and conduction parameter is 1 milliampere per volt square first case when lambda equal to 0 what is drain current and when lambda is equal to 0.02 per volt what will be the drain current let us solve case 1 so lambda is equal to 0 we have id is equal to kn vgs minus vtn whole square it will be around 1 milliampere per volt square so it is vgs is 4 volt minus 1 volt whole square so it is 1 milliampere per volt square so it is 3 volt square so it is 1 milliampere whole square into 9 whole square so whole square whole scale gets cancelled so it is 9 milliampere is the drain current second case when lambda channel length modulation parameter is 0.02 per volt so what is the drain current so it will be id sorry so we forgot to put 1 plus vds here so it is around so we have equation in case of channel length modulation it is 1 plus lambda vds so if you substitute here so it will be zero so lambda is zero this complete term will be zero and it will be 3 volt square now in this case id is kn vgs minus vtn square into 1 plus lambda vds so this is the equation for drain current due to the channel length modulation and it is kn we have 1 milliampere per volt square so it is already we have this 9 volt square so this gets cancel into 1 plus 0.02 volt okay per volt we have to substitute volt 0.02 into vds what is the vds here so vds is not given 
okay let us take vds is equal to 8 volt okay so if we take 8 volt so its whole volts get cancelled and here what is remaining is we have something about 10.2 milliampere current so id is 10.2 approximately 10.2 milliampere current so this is the effect of lambda channel length modulation parameter on the drain current and it exhibit how uh, a drain current depends upon the vds so we because of that we get a slight slope for vi characteristic and this lambda is very important parameter so it decides the finite output resistance which is non ideal characteristic of mosfet so we have to derive equation for that and there you will understand what is the role of lambda on finite output resistance of mosfet